Welcome to episode 9 of Noob to Pro Bee Swarm Simulator. If you want episode 10, like the video, 50 likes and I'll make an episode 10. If you look in the chat, you can see that I've done a lot of quests. Between episodes, I've spent many, many hours doing as many quests as possible. So that's all about appearance, ready for Dapper Bear. Let's claim this quest, see what we get from this. We get ourselves some, oh, a Bee Quip case and some other good rewards. Outrageous Onslaught, ready for Panda Bear. Let's claim that quest. Polar Bear, Strawberry Skewers, ready for Polar Bear. There we go. So many quests. Chemical Analysis, ready for Science Bear. We got some good rewards from that. Pineapple Bamb, ready for Brown Bear. There we go. The 15 B Zone, ready for Black Bear. Let's claim this quest. 16 more till the Mythic Egg. And our second to last completed quest is Pleasant Pastimes for Spirit Bear. I believe I've got like four or five quests left, or like five or six i'm not too sure um anyway let's get through all the spirit bears dialogue we've got a star jelly and a glitter yeah five more quests to the spirit petal and finally we completed the bee bear quest festive flower fun this one took me absolutely ages to do painful i had to trade for three white daisy stickers i had to get loads of goo in loads of fields it was not a fun quest to do however let's claim it four more quests till i get that cub buddy Okay, and now I've claimed all those quests, I've got another quest to do. If I go to my quests here and scroll down, right about here, the family final, raise a bee to level 10 and raise loads of bees to level 9. So I'm going to just spend a couple hundred million honey, and I reckon I can do this quest. So we can level up our music bee to level 10 with 40,000 treats, that's like all of them. Now if we buy a couple more treats, I don't think I'll need too many. I can raise frosty bee to level 9, and if I buy even more treats... I can also raise this diamond bee to level 9, and that is family final ready for Mother Bear, which will give me a star treat, our first star treat in this series we can get from Mother Bear right away, and it's the final Mother Bear quest, there we go, star treat, Mother Bear has been fully completed. Now, do I use this on Tabby Bee or Photon Bee? I actually don't know what the best bee is here, I'm gonna try and ask some people, because I don't want to get this wrong, because, you know, star treats are very good. Okay, it seems like everyone's saying Tabby, um, so I will definitely gift Tabby. In fact, before I do that, I'm going to actually replace Tabby here and try and get a music bee in Tabby's place or something good. Okay, I just ran out of royal jelly, but regardless, I'm going to replace this music bee down here with a Tabby bee because I've already got two music bees. I don't really need two, I believe. I think one will be enough, and I want my Tabby bee to level 10 here, and then I'm going to gift up my Tabby bee here. So we've got a level 10 gifted Tabby bee in my hive. There it is gifted tabby bee oh my god we got our first gifted bee also because of the laws in my country i'm not spending robux on a series anyway but all the eggs and like royal jelly and any packs which like have eggs in have been removed from the shop which is fine because i'm not going to spend ro uh, robux on this series however that's interesting Anyway, you see the title, you see what it says, it says a mythic egg, and uh, I'm not lying, okay, and I see a lot of people say, you shouldn't buy a mythic egg from the first one in the catalogue, but that's because, obviously, there's better things to buy, like the, the 50 Super Smoothies for the uh, Tide Popper in the future, or any other endgame tool, or, and, like, there's a lot of other things you can get here, for example, this bundle, which gives you some swelled wax, which is good for the Tide Popper, but realistically, I'm probably not gonna go to the Tide Popper in the series, because that would take... A long time but i might i don't know it depends how 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 long this series goes on for i guess and how much support you guys show it um so i will be buying a mythic egg from here because it is still good uh where is the mythic egg it should be just about down here there it is 500 snowflakes and 100 gingerbread bears and currently i'm slightly less than 100 i believe i'm on 96 and claiming the gingerbread house will give me eight gingerbread bears which puts me over 100 which means i can now buy the mythic egg so let's not stall out any longer. I reckon we should just buy it right away. Purchase Mythic Egg. Oh my god, there we go. We have a Mythic Egg in our inventory. And I'm going to use it on this Bomber Bee here. And please give me something good. I actually don't know what I'd want. Like either a, fu a Fuzzy Bee is good for uh, upgrading fields. But so is obviously a Boyan. And I think anything is good really. Honestly, let's just use it. And my luck with this game is I get a lot of spicy bees. I get a copious amount of spicy bees. So the chance of this being a spicy bee is pretty high. <laughs> All right, let's do it. In I'm actually quite scared. All right, three, two, one, and we got a tadpole. That's huge. I don't know if that's actually good because I've only got one. I don't know if it's like bad because I've only got one, but it's blue. And in my head, I want the tadpole. That's what I wanted. However, I don't know if it's actually better than other bees right now for me. However, I don't care. We got ourselves a tadpole. I think that's definitely better than like a precise bee uh, and a spicy bee. Um, however, maybe maybe a fuzzy would have been better at this stage. And now I do kind of want this tadpole bee to be at least level 9. So I should probably get some treats for him. 
So let's level up the Tadpole B like so. There we go. Level 9 Tadpole B. So yeah, that's a lot of action for the start of the episode. A star tree and a mythic egg and all those quests completed. Oh my gosh. And for the next Spirit Bear quest, I have to donate 250 of the Sunflower Seeds to the Wind uh, Shrine, which is a lot. I don't want to spend that many Sunflower Seeds on that, but unfortunately, it has to be done. I also have to feed 250 blueberries to my bee, so I may as well do that to my tadpole because maybe it'll become gifted. I mean, it's a very low chance, but hey, if it happens, it happens. Okay, it doesn't happen. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I do have 4.7k blueberries. I mean, I could feed them all with a chance, but it's like a 1 in 25k chance with a mythic, so really not worth it. I keep accidentally planting legendary sprouts when just pl planting a couple sprouts. It's happened like three times to me. I mean, I haven't recorded most of them because most of them was in between episodes. And a vicious bee, hello. What is this uh, current luck? And I need to I need to make sure I don't die to the vicious bee while collecting all these delicious rewards. But it looks like we killed the vicious bee. And let's just keep collecting all of these cool things. I'm seeing a blue extract. I'm seeing a sticker as well, a sprout sticker. That's probably decently rare. But yeah, I'm really lucky with sprouts right now, it seems. And I've been continuing to stack these stickers on the sticker stack um, quite a bit. I've been I've been doing a lot of sticker stacking. And I just completed nature's lessons for Spirit Bear. This petal wand is slowly encroaching. Spirit Bear, I've completed your quest. What are you going to give me? You're going to give me... Oh my god, you talk so much. You're going to give me... Okay, we got 20 moon charms and glitters some honey. Cool, let's claim the next quest. Okay, this quest doesn't seem the worst, actually. I mean, the, it's always the pollen ones that are the worst for uh, Spirit Bear because they're quite high numbers. Donate 300 pineapples to the Wind Shrine. Okay, and that is 300 donated. There we go. Will we get anything good from this? Probably not. I mean, we get a pine tree one. Ooh, okay. I mean, three times pine tree thing. I mean, that's okay. Speaking of that, I've been completing these Bucker Bee quests over and over again because... It's just worth doing for extracts and also just unlocking the Tide Popper later on if I do get that far. For this quest here, we need to get five Cordate Leaf Stickers, and uh, back to the trading hub I go. Five Leaf Stickers, it shouldn't be too hard because leaves aren't necessarily that valuable. Um, however, getting the specific leaf type is quite hard sometimes. Anyway, five stickers to trade for. Let's see how much of uh, how much bad trades I can do. Here's the first trade. I'm trading these four stickers for two leaves, which I feel like is a massive loss. Uh, let me know. And this trade, I think I'm doing a blue triangle critter sticker for a Cordate Leaf, which I think that's also definitely an L. I'm um, honestly, I'm probably taking the most amount of losses ever. And this trade is a simple sun for a Cordate Leaf, and I like this trade a lot more than the other ones, because this one's much better. Your best bet with getting these trades is looking for people who need, like, a simple sun for a quest, or any easy thing for a quest. Like, I'm going for an easy thing for a quest right now. Like, Cordate Leaf stickers aren't that hard, but I'm overpaying because there's a quest on. So if you want to get the best trades, just look for people going for the quests, because they will overpay. And this trade, I'm doing the TNT sticker for a Cordate Leaf, and that's the final leaf I need. Jesus Christ. I also got my first sticker stack badge here, as you can see. And now I have to get 50 sticker my stacks to get the next one. And that's so annoying. Because for on its Beesmas quest, you need to get two sticker stack badges. So I need to get 50 sticker stacks in the sticker stack thing. How? That's so many stickers. Ugh. And I just completed a very important quest for this, uh, or just in general for my gameplay. This is extremely important because. I will get a present from this quest and I can give it to Bucko B and he gives some really good boost. So let's give it straight to B Bear here. Three more and I get myself a cub buddy. At least I think so. Uh, we got some decent rewards from that. Let's claim the next one. The next one's probably quite hard. Honestly, it doesn't actually look too bad. Although we finally got ourselves another present, which means we can go over here to Bucko B and give him the present give present to bucko b there we go and from this i'll get some pretty good boost i'll get plus 25 percent convert rate plus 25 percent capacity in the blue uh, flower field and pine tree forest that's huge and more pollen from bubbles that's why this is so uh good we also got some other mediocre things but that thing more capacity in pine field and also more bubble pollen very good and i just completed mark mechanics for science bear so let's claim this quest. What rewards will give me science fair? Probably nothing amazing. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what is this quest? How many things are you going to give me? I mean, is this for a translator? I don't think it is. I don't think I get another translator quest yet. I'm going to check. Yeah, no, you don't get a translator for this quest, but you get a translator for the next quest. But uh, this quest is huge. I think I'm going to spend all my uh, honey on treats here just so I can get my bees up a couple levels. And by that, I mean like one level. I don't know why I said couple levels. Let's spend a billion there on 100,000 treats. This should be able to get a lot of my bees to level 9, hopefully. 
I'm not going to go for level 10 yet because I've only got one beat to level 10 and I'll just keep it at level 10 for now and worry about getting everything else to level 9. Okay, I've got about one third of my hive to level 9 and that's Bubble Trouble ready for Black Bear. Only 15 more quests till the Mythic Egg, yay! That's Buckoby Flowers ready for Buckoby. I mean, this is going to give me a blue extract, isn't it? <laughs> I'm also going to kill my King Beetle here. As you can see, will we get an amulet? No, we don't. And I get some kind of mediocre rewards. And I just completed Royal Rumble for Panda Bear. There's also a little cheeky hidden giraffe on the side of this thing. So I'll take it while I go up there. Anyway, Panda Bear Royal Rumble has been completed. Let's claim the quest. And I believe this will give me a star egg. Now, this time I'm not going to use it. I don't know why I used it before. Like, I'm a good player. I don't know why I used it. Anyway, now we're on to Ant Annihilation Quest. And it's 1 to 5. And it gets harder and harder. And then you get a star tree at the end. But... For now, at least I've got my star egg, which I'm not going to be using until I get every single bee gifted apart from Mythic, so I can guarantee a gifted Mythic. And now the rest of this video, my microphone didn't record any sound, so I'm going to have to do a voiceover, and I'm sorry that it's worse than it would have been. However, the main part of the video, the Mythic egg and the star treats are already done, and this is just mainly me doing a spirit bear quest. Anyway, enjoy the rest of this video. Okay, it's time to go kill my tunnel bear here. Um, as you can see, I'm going down the tunnel. And this time, hopefully I should be able to do it considering, you know, last time I managed to do it. So I don't see why I won't be able to do it this time. And also, this is a voiceover, so I know I did it. However, I did just die. Uh, yeah, I got a little bit too close to the black bear. And it's time to try again. This time, hopefully, we actually beat the tunnel bear. And as you can see, I beat him, and we got some pretty good rewards, as you can see. Yes, nice. We even got some gingerbread bears, we got some moon charms, pretty good. And that is the gifts of life completed for Spirit Bear. So let's go hand it in straight to Spirit Bear over here. Um, and I believe we're only two quests away from that Spirit Petal. So let's just skip through this dialogue here. And as you can see, we got some pretty good rewards, including 10 stingers, which is very good indeed. Upon claiming this quest... I got myself a memory match, which I did awfully in. I only got one pair. This next spirit bear quest required donating five oils to the wind shrine. So that's what I did right here. And for that, we only got like a couple million honey, which was not worth it at all. That's the 80 million pollen in the blue flower field completed. And I also completed the master badge for blue flower field, which I needed to get my fourth master badge for the top part of the quest. I also completed the 100 million pollen and pumpkin field and the pumpkin master badge while I was at it, just for future quests, which means now I have almost done this spirit bear quest. And while I'm here, I thought I'd get the grandmaster pine tree badge, which shouldn't take me too long. And there we go, we got the pine tree grandmaster badge. Let's claim it. There we go, our first grandmaster badge. It's got that nice green color to it. One, two, three. I then did more memory matches as I needed it for my quest. As you can see here, I got two pairs, which is okay. Then I did the spider filled pollen, which I needed for the quest, or the white white pollen. I needed 120 million white pollen. Then I claimed this massive quest for science bear, which gave me some okay rewards. And next quest will give me the translator. And it doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Then I did another memory match, and this one I did much better, getting three pairs instead of two. Then I did the night memory match, because I needed more memory matches, but this one... I only got one pair. Then I claimed this memory match after two hours of waiting. It took me ages. Uh, and as you can see, we got two pairs, which was enough to complete the quest. Which means I've completed that quest for Spirit Bear and also completed the Black Bear quest. So let's first claim the Black Bear quest. There we go. Let's claim it. 14 more quests to the Mythic Egg and we get some okay rewards. And now let's claim the Spirit Bear quest. There's two quests left until the Spirit Pass for the next quest and then the quest after. So let's claim the next quest, which doesn't look too bad. First, I'm going to donate three red extracts to the Wind Shrine, because that's part of the quest. I did the 60 million pineapple pollen, and then in the meantime, I'm collecting white pollen, and we also completed the pineapple badge to master. The white pollen is now done. I'm also going to claim the Polar Bear quest, as I need to do this for the quest. There we go. Also, now I'm going to do the Rosefield Pollen, which should take me not too long, hopefully, if I use some uh, boosts. As you can see, I've got the Rose Boost there. And I'm also going to use some Field Dice, because I need to do that for the quest anyway, and hopefully get the Rose Field, which we did on our second try, which was really lucky. And why do I get so lucky when I don't need to be lucky? I need to use 10 Field Dice anyway, so uh, why am I getting lucky now? <laughs> 
I'm also going to use a red extract because they're really easy to get and also it'll just speed up the process. I know this video is sloppy. We've completed the Rosefield pollen. As I was saying, this video is sloppy. Anyway, we're donating three blue extracts right away because that's part of the quest as well. And then all we've got left after that is the filled dice, the stump filled pollen and collecting tokens from sprouts. So let's first do the stump filled pollen, which shouldn't take too long. I'm going to use some filled dice because I got to do it for the quest anyway. So let's just use them until I get stump filled. And it took all but one filled dice to get the stump filled boost. Anyway, it's time to grind stump filled for 20 million pollen. There we go. We completed it. Now all that's left is the tokens from sprouts. We're going to buy some more treats to get most of my hive to level 9. Please comment treat if you've made it this far. I know this video is extremely messy with the whole voiceover. And I wish it wasn't because it's way harder to do this. Anyway, as you can see, most of my hive is now level 9. We've only got 6 bees which aren't level 9. So let's buy a couple more treats just to get a couple more of them up to level 9. And let's feed them to our bees. And as you can see, now we've only got 3 of them, which are level 8. And that's forcefully friendly, ready for Spirit Bear. Oh my god, we're only one quest away from the Spirit Petal. This quest took absolutely ages, and hopefully next quest is much easier. So, let's hand it in to Spirit Bear. This quest was very big and also I cut out a lot of stuff considering I'm doing a voiceover. There was a lot more. Anyway, one final quest to get the spirit petal. There we go. That is insane. And that's the end of this video. I'm going to claim this quest here. However, I must say next episode, I will be getting that petal wand. And also there won't be a silly voiceover where it's a bit messy. Bye-bye.